is some of my story in growing up was we obviously moved from Australia, originally from Australia, to the United States. And how that came about was our dad was a com concert promoter in Australia, so he'd bring over artists and bands. So music was always a way of life growing up. But he lost a quarter of a million dollars on a tour that went bad. And um, we had a really, really defining moment. There was six kids and my mum was pregnant with the seventh. And dad had gone to her and said, hey, I really felt a calling over to the United States, to Nashville namely, to be involved in music over there. What do you think? And, and he sort of thought she would say, no, I'm okay here. Families here, 24 cousins, aunts, uncles, grandparents, all in Australia. And she said, if, if you lead, I'll follow. So we packed 16 suitcases, we sold what little we had left, seven months pregnant, moved across halfway around the world to the United States on a job offer that he'd gotten. Month after we got to America, he lost his job. No car, no furniture, sleeping on beds made out of clothes. And uh, we would sit in a circle and we would pray. I was, the first time I ever came over, I was seven. And as a seven year old, looking back now as a married man, as an adult, one of the things that is very remarkable to me is I was never frightened. I never saw discord in my parents. They were one, they had agreed to it, and they were both faithful. And it was a huge testament, particularly to my mum. I mean, if you, I have memories of her, the, the same clothes we had worn through the day she would grab some sheets and she would wrap them under us to sleep on the floor at night. And the strength that that woman had. Uh, and for me to never feel afraid, and it was just an adventure, you know. And so I, you know, I say to mothers, I, I don't envy you, <laughs> but man, I respect you and, we, and I honor you and the band honors you. Uh, because what we do now as for King Country is a direct reflection in so many ways of how we were brought up by our mum. And so uh, that's my Mother's Day story for this year. I'm, I'm very fond of my mum. She's one of my great heroes.